Just now on the cafe, our rising international opera singer, Marlena DeVoe, who is currently home in New Zealand from her London base, as well as Tenak Kaloni Pavalu from Operatic Quartet, Opera Nisha. Welcome to the cafe. Thank you. Yeah, give a good round of applause. Yeah. Lovely to have you here. So, Marlena, how is life treating you in London? It's great. Um, I've been based there for two and a half years. Uh, very competitive. There's lots of singers there, but it's just grinding away at it yet yeah, it's... it must be nice to be back home it is, it is you know when you whenever you get the opportunity to perform at home you take it just so you can come and be here for summer and well summer <laughs> yeah, and new um, zealand summer yeah <laughs> and see some of the family so it's yeah. Nice, and there's a reason you've come back, and that is, of course, to perform at uh, Opera in Your Backyard with mm. Opera Anesia. And Kaloni, tell me more about Opera Anesia, because this sounds fascinating to me. What a great opportunity. What is it all about, Opera Anesia? Um, so Opera Anesia is basically uh, the fusion of opera and the uh, style and taste of Polynesia. <laughs> and we just decided to add them together and then give it out to the people. So we both do opera and we do music from Elvis Presley, mm -hmm. Island Medleys, um, anything and everything across the board. We just try and uh, add our flavor to it. It sounds great. It sounds a little bit Solomeo-ish. Do you sort of compare yourself to those guys? Uh, they're a great inspiration for us. Mm. Um, they have, you know, set the um, standard quite high. For us, we're just there just to uh, share the music that we can give and offer it to the people. And how many are in the yeah. Opera Anesia group? There are four of us. Yes. There are four people in the Opera Anesia group. Nice. And um, the, the Opera in Your Backyard, mm -hmm. Marlena, this is what you've come back to do. Is this the first time performing with the Opera Anesia boys? Well, actually, I performed with them, well, two of the members uh, in Samoa a few weeks ago for New Year's. And, um, but no, first time in New Zealand. Right, and this is the second opera in the backyard, so you mm. missed the first one. Um, what is it that drew you to this? Well, it's, I mean, it's always great to perform with fellow Polynesian singers, and um, I love what they do. I love how they mix uh, opera and contemporary styles. Mm. And, um, yeah, they're just a great bunch of guys, so. And a picnic uh, in yeah. the backyard, mm. yeah, with some beautiful opera sounds <laughs> like fun. Come on, how old were you when you started, when you realised that you had a voice? Um, quite young. Uh, about five. Did somebody pinpoint you and say, <laughs> you've got it, you've got it, you've got to train this voice? Uh, yeah, my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Good old mum and dad, and what, what were you singing, that, though, for them to notice? Can you remember? Yeah, we always sung hymns, um, traditional music for church, and they'd always make me sing the alto parts. Right. And, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. and you had something quite special. Marlena, you, so you've been training for a while as well. Yes. Uh, but... A lot of people, they train like musicians and they reach their peak at 18 or so, but opera singers, it takes a long time to actually find your real voice. Mm -hmm. Why so long? Um, I mean, it, it really does vary on, on the singers, I mean, depending on the singers, but uh, I think it's just you have to wait for your voice to mature. And um, no, I mean, I, I started when I was 10 and it was just love of opera. I, I joined the Children's Opera Chorus with Opera New Zealand and um, went from there. Was it always opera for you? It was, strangely enough it was, yeah. You must pinch yourself when you're performing in places like London, thinking mm. how on earth did I end up here? Is, yeah. it, is it a dream come true for you? I mean it is my passion so I and I, I love it when I'm on stage I mean it's not you don't enjoy it 100% of the time. A lot of it is rejection from um, companies, auditions, competitions. You just have to get used to that and you know, have a thick skin otherwise. Oh, you'd yeah. have to go you know, audition after audition. <laughs> exactly. And you're, one of your singing coaches is, or you've worked with Frances Wilson, who's worked with Dame Kitty Takawa. Yes, well, she's the director of the Auckland Opera Studio, and she's actually hosting the concert in the backyard in um, Matakana. And uh, she, yes, she's my coach, my vocal coach. She's been my coach for years. She actually coaches some of the boys in Opera Nisha as well. Yeah. And um, basically, whenever I come back to New Zealand, I harass her. <laughs> 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 I do, because she's the only one who really knows my voice. So well, I'm so pleased you've come on the show yeah. so we get to know a bit more about you. And uh, Kalani, I, I wanted to know, Opera, I guess, in London is probably treated a little bit differently to how we treat it here in New Zealand. Is that attitude changing in New Zealand towards opera? Yes, um, we're finding that the target audience is now going down to the youth mm. and younger audiences, which is what we wanted. 
um, because most people, I think, they think opera is a highbrow art form. Yes. Mm. But uh, it's not. No, and you are making it fun. Mm. Yeah. yeah. With your dinner jackets and your lava lavas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, well, fantastic, guys. Can't wait uh, mm. to see what happens in the future for you both. And if you would like to go and see the show, Marlena DeVoe and Kaloni Pabalu perform with Opera Indonesia in Omaha on Saturday. You can check out the iTicket website for all the details.